Lesson 22, A Treaty with National Interest. The treaties of Traverse de Sioux and Mendota were introduced to Congress in February 1852. Two months later, the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs took them up for consideration. The treaties were highly debated and created much controversy. The main reason for controversy was the fact that the Southern Senators did not wish to see an enlargement of the area of settlement in a new Northern Territory, which would be soon applying for statehood. On June 23rd, after several amendments, the treaties were ratified. Commenting on the ratification process, Minnesota delegate Henry Sibley said, The long agony is over. Never did any measure have a tighter squeeze through. The ratification came in the aftermath of the Compromise of 1850. This was a federal agreement in which Texas surrendered its claim to New Mexico, California was admitted as a free state, future states were given the right to choose whether to be admitted as slave or free, and Washington, D.C. outlawed the slave trade. The Compromise was the end of a four-year disagreement in Congress. The political confrontation regarded the debate over whether or not to admit those territories acquired from the Mexican-American War as slave or free. This was a national controversy that polarized the southern and northern United States. The Compromise preserved the Union, but only for another ten years. In the context of the Compromise of 1850, it is easy to understand why the treaties of Traverse de Sioux and Mendota were an important and highly debated national issue.